Good morning, my dearest children. Hope you all are in sound health. As I've been telling you, I'm doing Ma'am Anisha's class. So today also, I'm going to do English language. We're going to start with a new chapter. Chapter number 19, preposition. And I'm sure you must have done the work that I've given you last week, children. Some of you have sent the work to me. Very good. I'm very happy with the response that I get from you all. Please do your work and send it to me. Okay. So today, preposition. What is preposition? I don't know whether you have done it in class 3 or not. But uh, even if you have done it, preposition is very, very important. Because if you put the preposition in the right place when you write and you speak, then the sentence will be correct. So let's see what is a preposition. First of all, I'll write the definition on the board so that you can see it again and again and then you will understand what is a preposition, okay? So let me write the definition on the board. Definition. Preposition. Preposition can be defined as a word that tells us that tells us about about the relationship the relationship of a noun of a noun or a pronoun or a pronoun with another word with another word in a sentence okay again i read it out for you preposition can be defined as a word that tells us about the relationship of a noun or a pronoun with another word in a sentence noun what is a noun children you know what is a noun naming words and noun and pronouns, we've just done pronouns. Pronoun is a word instead of a noun. Like I, we, that is a pronoun. Nouns, any name, chair, table, desk, everything, this is a noun. So a preposition can be defined as a word that tells the relationship between the noun or a pronoun in a sentence. All right, let me show you some example. Look here, I'm standing here, okay? and at the back of me what is here this is a blackboard so the blackboard is behind me okay i can never say the blackboard is in front of me if i say the blackboard is in front of me then it's wrong the sentence is completely wrong so if i say the blackboard is behind me or at the back of me that is a right uh, the correct sentence now here from here you cannot see children but i can see there's a window in front of me so i can say the window is in front of me i can never say the window is beside me it can never so the window is in front of me so in front is a preposition see this is a duster i have a duster in my hand right the duster is in my hand it's in my hand and I put the duster on the table. I don't know whether you'll be able to see the table or not, but I put this duster on the table. So it's on the table. All right. I cannot say that the duster is under the table. Let me draw some. Uh, do I'm, I would not draw very well. Just rough sketch. I'm going to show you. Children, this is a table. Roughly, I'm going to draw it for you. Right. This is a table. Okay. All right. So this is a this is on on the table okay so what is this this is a glass where is the glass the glass is on the table you cannot say the uh, the glass is 
under the table. This is wrong. This is right. If you say under, that means the class should be under the table. All right. Now look here. Another drawing. What is this? This is a cat. Where is the cat? The cat is under under the table. This is right. You cannot say the cat is on the table. This is wrong. So this is preposition. The glass is on the table. The cat is under the table. All right. You understood what preposition is? It's got a relationship between the noun and a pronoun in a, in a sentence. There are three kinds of preposition. Three kind of pre preposition. Let's see what are they. Three types of preposition. There are three types of preposition. There are three types of preposition. Preposition. Remember that three types of preposition. The first one is the first one is prepo. Position. The first one is preposition of place. Preposition of place. What is a preposition of place? It it is used. It is used to tell us the place. It is used to tell us the place. Or position or position of something. Place means the place or the, or the place or position or exam or place or position of something. For example, at. Okay? At. Above, around, above, around, in front, in front, in front of, over, against, Etc. Many words are there. Many prepositions are there. These are just a few examples. At, above, around, in front of, or against, over, against. So, let me give you one example here. The birds are flying over the trees the birds are flying over the trees see word over is a preposition the birds are flying over the tree you cannot say the birds are flying in the tree we can say the birds are flying in the sky we cannot say the birds are flying over the sky all right the birds are flying over the trees the birds are flying in the sky in is a preposition you understood children so there are many many exercises there are many many examples okay the book is kept on the table the book is on the table if you say on the table that it should be on the table i met him at the airport where you met him at the airport you cannot say i met him across the airport because you met the person at the airport there is a park in front of my house in front of your house there is a park you cannot say there is a park inside my house a park can never be inside your house the park is in front of your house so that is the preposition of place now the second one is preposition of time number two preposition of 
time. Preposition of time. Okay, number one is preposition of place. Number two is preposition of time. Preposition of time is in, on. The example, okay children? Oh, let me write the definition first. I forgot. It is used. It is used to show the connection the connection with time the connection with time okay so example like in i'll write in on at until for and many more okay many more so example let me write here i was born in july in july in in is a preposition here i was born in july you cannot say i was born on july i was born in july number two she came after a week she came after a week you can't say she came since a week you can say the correct sentence is the correct preposition is she came after a week so this is the preposition of time and then you can say i have to go to the party on sunday on sunday you cannot say i have to go to the party with sunday funny sounds funny right i have to go to a party on sunday another example we have to reach the school at 8 p.m you have to reach the school in 8 p.m is it correct no it's wrong we have to reach the school at 8 p.m or 8 a.m doesn't matter the time it can be morning or it can be evening i joined school in 2020 i joined school in 2020 you cannot say i joined school over 2020 see preposition are very important because if you use the preposition correctly the sentence will be correct but if you use a wrong preposition the whole sentence will be wrong now the next one is preposition of moment i'll write it up here now okay i'll just rub this out preposition of movement Number three, preposition of movement. Preposition of movement, it is used to show movement. It is used to show movement. It is used to show movement. Into, at, towards, towards, for, against, against across down these are the preposition of movement let me write example here example she through no oh, sorry 
She threw stone at the dog. At the dog. At that moment, she threw stone at the dog. Okay? She threw stone at the dog. At is a preposition. I am to going to school. I am going to school. I am going to school at 8 a.m. I am going to school at 8 a.m. You saw children? So this is the preposition of movement. And some example, the police ran after the thief. You can say the police ran across the thief. It's wrong. The police ran after the thief. The river flowed down the valley. You cannot say the river flow over the valley. The river flow down the valley. The boy jumped into the pool. Okay, into the pool. You can't say the jump, the boy jump on the pool. It should be into the pool. So these are the preposition. The three types of preposition are preposition of place. It is used. It is used to tell us the place or position. I forgot to write. It is used to tell us, right, children? It is used to tell us the place or position of something. At, above, around, in front of, over, against, etc. For example, the birds are flying over the tree. Okay? And so many examples I have given to you. Preposition of time. It is used to show the connection with time. In, on, at, until, etc. For example, I was born in July. I came after a week. Then, preposition of moment. It is used to show movement. Into, add, towards, for, against, across, down. Example, she threw stone at the dog. I'm going to school at 8 a.m. And children, I'm sure you understood what I've explained. And I'm going to uh, send you the definition and the formation of the preposition. How to use the preposition of time, place and movement. Tomorrow I'm going to give you this. And I'll be sending you some exercises. And on Wednesday, because we are going to continue with the same chapter, I'm not going to do any live class on that day or online class. I'm just going to send you on Wednesday. I'm just going to send you some exercises. And children, please, after you finish doing your exercises, please send it to me in my personal number. Last time I did the correction and I'm sure you must have done the correction that I have told you to do again. A very few of you have uh, submitted the work and please children, I request all of you, please, please, please do your work and submit it to my personal number. Okay, children, stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.